we present learning optical flow from a few matches. Optical flow is a classic computer vision problem that has been researched for the past 40 years. Given two input images, we aim to find per pixel motion vectors. With the recent development of deep learning, various approaches have been developed to address the optical flow problem. One crucial representation that has been used within all of these approaches is the correlation volume. Let f1, f2 denote two feature maps extracted from the first and the second image. For given pixel location x and the displacement vector d, a correlation is represented as the dot product between the feature vector at x in f1 and the feature vector at x plus d in f2. The correlation volume is a set of such correlations. To solve the optical flow problem, we want to know where each pixel moves to and the correlation volume gives an explicit representation for pairwise similarities. To successfully handle large motions, the recent paper Raft proposed to use the all-pairs correlation volume, where each feature vector is computed in a product with all feature vectors in the other feature map. The size of the correlation volume is thus quadratic to the number of pixels. Due to the memory constraint, feature maps are downsampled to 8th eighth resolution of the original image. In this paper, we present a new representation, the sparse correlation volume. Compared to the all-pass correlation volume, for each feature vector, only the top k correlations and their coordinates are stored. We demonstrate that we can successfully process this representation and produce flow predictions comparable to the dense approach. We also construct and process correlation volumes at photo resolution as opposed to 8th resolution in Raft. To construct a sparse correlation volume, or SCV, we use a KN algorithm to select top K correlations and then compute dot product with the K selected feature vectors. To process SCV, we propose a multi-scale displacement encoder which can effectively capture large and small motions and encodes the 4D sparse correlation volume into a 2D dense motion tensor. A GRU is used to iteratively predict residual flows. The sequence of residual flows are summed to form the final optical flow prediction. To effectively encode and process the SCV, we first form a multi-scale sparse tensor by dividing the coordinates with different scalars. We then propose using bilinear splatting to propagate the nine integer correlations to the four nearest integer neighbors. At each scale, we define a constant windowed set which captures both large and small motions. The correlations within the windowed set are extracted and converted to a dense vector. Missing values are interpolated with zeros. Overall, our approach performs comparable with Raft. In the two view case, we perform better on Sintel Clean. When incorporating the warm start strategy, our results are behind Raft. Looking at the memory consumption of the correlation volume, the sparse correlation volume is two to three orders of magnitude smaller compared with the dense correlation volume. When both training at quarter resolutions, our approach also consumes far less memory compared to the dense approach. Since we construct and process the correlation volume at higher resolution, our approach can better capture fine structure motions as shown in the examples.